Uh, he wanted to know. Hey, what's up? So it's 2.24 a.m. And your boy just got back home from watching some MMA fights. And I've had a couple drinks, but whatever. So I was checking my YouTube page before I went to bed, as I want to do. And on one of my videos uh, from 2018 called Five Ways to Reverse a String in JavaScript, I guess I figured out or I guess I made a video on five ways to reverse a string in JavaScript. Uh, this dude left a notification right here. And this is the notification that says, I love your style, but my question is, how can you reverse words with six or more letters in a given string? That is my second program's code turned to my blah, 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 blah. So basically this word and this word have more than six characters. So this dude, Ralph, uh, Ralph, uh, Beanie, Ralph Beanie, uh, that guy wants to know how to do it. So I'll do it real quick because why the hell not? So let's do it. So basically, um, we have down here, we'll have, uh, let's just say that we had a string like this is a sentence. And sentence has more than six characters, so it should be reversed. Everything else should stay normal. Okie doke. So that's not super hard to conceptually figure out how to do. Uh, and I'm just doing this on the fly, so I might uh, mess it up. But I don't think I will because your boy knows what he's doing. Um, so function, and uh, we're probably going to have to make two functions here because I don't want to have all this logic in like one function. So we'll just call one uh, reverse string. And what that'll be fed is a string, and then we'll turn that string into an array so we can work with it. So const r equals str.split at the spaces. So, um, and we'll just go through this as we go. So we'll go const str, we'll put this here, and we'll just say this is a sentence, sentence. And let's move that down here, actually. Um, so let's just console log as we go. So we'll console log out uh, reverse string with the string passed in. And so far, what we've got with just that little bit of code is an undefined because we didn't do a return statement. Uh, so we'll just do return r right here. So let's see it. And it's out oh, because I'm running the wrong command. All right, so this is a string. So it, so it, Basically, doing dot split, turn split it at the spaces turns it into an array that we can work with. If we got an array, our old buddy, the for loop. So I'll just go for let word of str or no, it's r. So let word of r. So we're gonna we're gonna loop through every word in this array down here, and we'll just do a little check here. We'll say if word dot length is greater than or equal to six, then we want to do something. Otherwise we want to do something else. So we'll make this a pure function, meaning that the input is not going to be uh, mutated or changed at all. So we'll, the input will stay as is and we'll, we'll output something else. So we need something to output here. So let's just go const uh, result equals an empty array. And we'll just push to that empty array. So here in the else, if it's not greater than six characters, then what we want to do is just push it into the results array. So we'll just go result dot push uh, that word on that iteration word. Here is where we want to do something else. So right here, so if the word is more than six six characters, we're going to want to reverse this. So let's make another function. We'll just call it reverse single word, and we'll pass it in that word. Uh, and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to result dot push whatever comes out of that function into the results array. Mm, slurp, alert. Okay. Um, and then down here, we're just going to want to return result. We still got to build that other array or build that other function. Return result. Okay. Cool. So let's build that other function. What do we call it? Reverse single word. So we'll go function reverse single word. So this is only going to run if the, like I said, if the word's characters are greater than six. So it'll be passed in a word. 
And then, how would we do this? Uh, we could just use uh, reduce, uh, reduce, uh, high order JavaScript array helper method reduce. So we can just go return. And I need to turn this word into an array. So, S or so word dot uh, reduce and reduce takes in two, two arguments, takes in a callback, which gets two arguments and acronym and character. Man, I use this function in a minute. I'm starting to get, starting to get kind of wobbly here. And so we, what we would want to do is the accumulator, which is the first function, which is the first argument we would want to basically add the character to that so it would be character plus accumulator and then we would want to have an initial value down here uh, of nothing so if you don't understand the reduce method uh, actually the video that the dude commented on I think that's one of the ways that I solved this in this video if I'm remembering right and then the string so what hang on uh, four. So we don't have any naming YouTube video problems, inside a YouTube video. So like let's try to figure that out. So function fourth wall breaking. Reverse five. Come on, man. We're gonna give it. Yeah, yeah. So eight. here at around uh, seven minutes fifty five seconds of this video, I use the reverse method, uh, the the reduce method uh, in this. So if you have any questions about it, just go watch that video. Um, I got that voice bill for radio, dog. Right here, you'd actually have to put a return statement right here too, because it's broke up on multiple lines. Um, so I think that all this should work together symbiotically. So reverse string str. It's going to run this. Let me get this out of the way real quick. Control uh, Control tilde to get that out of the way. Let's see. So we're passing in a string. We'll make another array. We'll split up the string, make an array, we'll loop through it, we'll say if the words are greater than six, we'll push into the array what we get back from this. What this is going to do is just going to reverse reverse that, and then that. Yeah, yeah, this should work. So let's run it and see what's up. So let's go over. And it didn't reverse sentence here. What the fuck? Why didn't it reverse sentence? So let's see if this reverse single word is actually working. Reverse single word. Result that push. So let's see if this on line 17 is actually working. I didn't check that. So we'll go console.log reverse single word with the word, um, I don't know. Uh, what's a word? Sentence. All right, so let's see if that reverses that. It did reverse that. Okay, cool. So we're wanting to result dot push reverse single word invoked with word. Uh, let's see. Let's see why it's not working. That seems like that should work. What's the name of that first function? Reverse string. And that's going to take in a string, str. All right, come on, work, you fucker. Okay, cool, yeah, it worked. Oh, well, it kind of worked. We need to join it back, so we'll just return uh, result.join uh, at the spaces. Let's see if this works. Yep, so that works. This is a sense. Okay, cool. So I'll put this code up on GitHub because my explanation for it was jack shit because I'm fairly about to go to sleep and kind of drunk. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it, Mr. What's the dude's name? Ralph Dini. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just reply. I'm going to put this video up and I'll reply directly to this guy. He only posted this an hour ago. That's the kind of love and attention I give to my viewers. All right, anyways, take it sleazy, bros and girls.